We are under the lights this evening as we get you set for another edition of Baseball on the Show. Tyler Anderson, the Nevada-born starter, will get the call in this one. What's your take on him, Dan? You hear that phrase, the pitcher's best friend is the ground ball and double play? Not in Tyler Anderson's case. His best friend is the straight changeup. He's not going to blow you away with the radar gun. Low 90s fastball, but a really good changeup. If he has the changeup, expect him to be around a long time in this one. And now the first pitch. Ground ball right side. Fielded cleanly. Throw gets him to them. Stepping in next, Joe Carter. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Skied into straightaway right. Polanco has a read on it. And that retires the side. Denelson Lamette gets the ball in game three of the series. What do you have for us on him, Danny? Boy, was he super good in his last one, a complete game shutout. A true gem. He certainly would like to repeat that performance here. Guys, the swing and Friars as they take the field here tonight. They come in unbeaten and playing well here in the early going. Maddie, this is the best team in baseball right now. I, I mean, just a double-digit winning streak that, I mean, maybe happens to two or three teams a year you get this high. This team is rocking in all facets right now, and they're a fun watch. So he ran the fastball by him for the punch out. Kevin Newman is dealt with for the first out in the bottom of the inning. Brian Reynolds comes on with one gone here as he looks at a called strike one. Look at the radar gun on that slider. Off speed pitch, 91 miles an hour. That's just pure filth. And the slider gets him swinging, two gone. The main job of the number one and two hitters is to set the middle of the order up with an opportunity to do some damage. So when you strike both of them out, you're putting yourself in a pretty good position to make it. And the throw to first is there. The inning is over. All set for the start of the inning. And up steps the big bat of Fernando Tatis Jr. Fernando Tatis Jr. Now a swing, and he just fouls this one away. The wind up, and the 0 1. Hit to short. Newman fields it cleanly. On the first, and there's one gone here to start the second. Striding forward, Mike Piazza, and he does so riding a nine game hitting streak, so he's certainly a threat with the bat right now. Swing and he launches this one to deep left field. Looking up is Goodwin. Gone! Hey, that's the price you pay right there when you try and sneak a fastball past this guy. Power hitter, and every power hitter in the league knows you got to start with the numero uno, number one, man. You got to get on the heater and adjust to everything else, and he did just that. Reynolds will range to his left and put it away. Two down. And now in the box, Roberto Alomar is back in the starting lineup for this one after sitting out last night's game. Line shot to second, but it's caught and the side. Bottom of the inning now, and next to bat will be the outfielder, Brian Goodman. In the right field, that's a base hit. Hey, guys, I like the execution by the batter there. He got a hanger in the middle of the plate. He could have come unglued, but he didn't. He stayed focused and drove a line drive base hit. Into the box now, Colin Moran. There's strike two as the slider hits the outside corner. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Long run for the left fielder, and he makes the catch in the corner. That is so great. next to bat will be Gregory Polanco. First swings for him in this one with a runner still at first and one gone. That's three straight sliders in a row. I'd be shocked. I would be shocked if he went to that well a fourth time. I'd be looking either. 
a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Really good late bite on that slider right there. The best ones have that late action that just darts at the last minute. They're so tough to get the bat on, and when you've got that good slider going, it's a great strikeout pitch. Behind 0-2 now. Goodwin, runner at first with two gone. Fouled away. Hit down the third baseline. Oh, this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. Now a fastball swung on and missed, and that is out number three. In the hit will be Trent Grisham. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. Hit hard towards center. And that finds some outfield grass. It's a base hit. With that, the inning opens with the Padres getting their leadoff man on base. Hey, after that hit right there, Giro, that extends his hitting streak to six games. Yeah, no doubt about it. Six days in a row with Knox will help you sleep better at night then. Towards second. Well, this is hauled in by the second baseman. Up next, next to stand in is Ricky Henderson. 0 for 1 here in the early going. Swing and a ground ball to third. Oh, but it's thrown away at second. And they won't get him as he's able to advance from first to third on what would certainly be scored a throwing error. Stepping in once again is Tony Gwynn. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. 0 and 1. 0 and 1 the count. It's a base hit into center field. One run is in. Throw comes to second, but he is in there with a two-run double. You don't get too many pitches a day in the big leagues. Middle cut. His eyes lit up right there. This pitcher's lucky he's not getting another ball from the umpire. Standing in now, Joe Carter. And now the runner's trying for third. That's a strike to throw down. He's well behind the play. That's an easy stolen base. How about that for making something happen? First he rips a double, then on the very next pitch he swipes third, just showing what kind of offensive weapon he can be. Hit hard to short. Newman's got it. Throw to first is in time, but meanwhile the runner is in to score. And that'll bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. He's 0 for 1 after grounding out in his only trip to the plate so far. Yeah, I understand that, Matty, but this guy's got burner wheels down the first baseline. I don't think he no, even he concerns did. himself with that. He has to put it on the ground. That's part of what makes him successful. At the plate, Mike Piazza. Fly ball out toward left center field. Waiting on it is Goodwin. And the inning is over. They pick up three runs on three hits. One error in the inning and one man left on base. Michael Perez is in to start things off here as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. The offense better get it going right here because they certainly can tell from their dugout this guy is carrying himself with a presence out on the mound. He's got feel for all his pitches. Batting done. So one out, nobody aboard. Tyler. And that'll bring up Tyler Anderson. Anderson. And he swings through a fastball and doesn't catch up with it. It's 0-1. Okay, if you're in this lineup right here, game on, boys. I know he's got power stuff, but if he, he's going to come middle of the plate, you better be ready to pull the trigger. And this is swung on and missed. His fifth strikeout already. And there are two gone in the now inning. Batting. Kevin Newman is in with two away now as he looks at a called strike one. Shocked he didn't let it fly right there. Usually you're looking for a fastball elevated to get the party started. Bases are empty here with two men out. Got him swinging and that will end the inning. Down in order. All set for the start of the fourth. Standing in is the veteran third baseman Manny Machado. Out in front as he grounds this one to short. Newman brings it in. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. Up next, Roberto Alomar. He's 0 for 1 thus far. 
Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Short hit hard. Newman feels it cleanly. On to first, and that is two quick outs to start the fourth. So two are gone in the Padre fourth, and that brings up Trent Grisham. Now a ball lying toward the gap in left center, and that's in for his second hit of the afternoon. Dan, as a former pitcher, are you privy to this guy? I mean, he's been swinging a bat well. I know it's only April, but he's been using the entire field, staying line to line. That's what makes it so hard as a pitcher when you can't go one way when you pitch a guy in. He pulls it. I will have to leave it there as the play is made for the third. So now it's Brian Reynolds comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. And that's swung on and missed for strike one. Hey, he's got great feel for that pitch right there. He can throw it anytime he wants for a strike. And he comes back with a fastball. One and two now. Man, this pitcher is on right now, pounding the zone, attacking these hitters. He's making it look easy. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and that's the first out. Boy, he's got great stuff today, doesn't he? That's seven punch outs now here in the middle innings. He's up over one in the inning up to this point. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can change their plan of attack and start to put the ball in play. But right now, that's just not happening. Fouled off. There's another pitch for a strike, and this guy's really attacking hitters well tonight, being aggressive early on. And if he continues to throw strikes like he is, he's going to have a pretty good night. So he racks up the swinging strikeout on the breaking ball. No, Key Brian good. Hayes becomes Brian. out number Hayes. two this Goodwin. inning. Brian Goodwin will stand in for the second time now as he looks at a called strike. It's nothing in one. And it's fouled away. Wow, that's four straight K's. He's knocking them down. He's looking for number five right here. You can tell this guy on the mound, he is pitching with a whole lot of confidence in this one. Good well, weight pitch, one and two. And he got another one here. He strikes out the side. He set down five. New inning set to get underway. And digging in is the outfielder, Ricky Henderson. Hit sharply on the ground to the left. And a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch he sees, and he's on to open up the inning. Now here's the Pirates manager up out of the dugout on his way to the mound. And we're going to see a pitching change as that's going to do it for his starter here tonight. So he'll depart after working just four plus innings as this will not go down as a quality start. That's for sure. Cody Ponce takes the ball here as he'll enter with a runner at first and nobody out. This is skied into short left center. Goodwin comes on and makes the catch in shallow left for route number one. Next to hit is Joe Carter. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. He's set. Here it comes. And a pitch out. Nothing doing though. And that's ball one. Now it looks like a right hander's up and throwing in the Pittsburgh bullpen. Pulled high in the air out to left field. Good one's in pursuit. He gets there, and that's the second out. So a runner at first with two away. And that will bring up Fernando Tatis Jr. From the stretch. And a pitch out. Nothing doing, though, and that's ball one. In the air now, out to left. Giving chase is good one. He gets there to make the catch, and that ends the inning. So stepping in is Colin Moran. He leads off in the bottom of the fifth as they look to break through on the scoreboard for the first time in this one. Yeah, no doubt about it. You can tell in between innings the veterans in that dugout going up and down the line, trying to keep this lineup from getting super frustrated. They just have to find a way to piece it together, maybe pass the baton, get some wheels in motion, maybe get aggressive on the base pass if they can get somebody on. Under it is Machado, and he'll take it for the first down. Up next for the Pirates. Here's Gregory Polanco, struck out Gregory. in his first at-bat. 
Yeah, he didn't put up much of a fight either, Matty. Got to find a way. Can't go down three pitches. I don't care if you're staring at him or swinging at him. You have to find a way to make this pitcher work a little bit harder. Man, this guy's really pitched well so far, attacking the strike zone, and he's really kept these hitters off balance. So the breaking ball locked him up there. Gregory Polanco becomes the second out in the bottom of the fifth. Now a swing, and he gets him to pop it up. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. And he fouls this one off. Man, he's in control of all his weapons right here. One strike away from five shutout innings. And yet another strikeout here. His 11th of the ball game, and this one ends the inning. Top half of the sixth about to get started, and that'll bring in the veteran catcher, Mike Piazza. Hit the other way out toward right field. Polanco has a read on it. Looks it into his glove, and there's one gone. Here's Manny Machado now. 0 for 2 with a fly ball and a ground out on his line to this point. Hot shot down the line. Reined in. And the sixth inning is progressing quickly here. Now two away. Digging in now for San Diego. Roberto Alomar. He grounded out last time up. Lifted the other way down the left field line. On the run is Goodwin. He makes the catch. What a play on the run to end. Now at the plate, here is Michael Perez to start things out in their half of the sixth as they look to shake things up here for a lineup that, quite frankly, has been non existent to date. Yeah, I think if I'm the hitting coach right here, Maddie, I'm telling the offense to get aggressive. Just seems like we've been going too deep in counts, and this guy has got exploding stuff on the mound. So I would tell them get overly aggressive on a heater in the middle of the plate early. Gwynn is there to put it away for route number one. Eric Gonzalez will come on as a pinch hitter to try and make an impact with one away. First pitch is a slider called for a strike. And he's looking to get it going. Off to a bit of a slow start this year. And he falls behind. Bases are empty, one man out. Uh, he's just rolling right now, and even dozen strikeouts for him in the ball game. Man, this guy's on his game today, not only when he's throwing strikes, but how about the amount of strikeouts? And what's even more impressive, no walks up to this point. So he's pounding that zone with strikes, and he's making these hitters swing the bat. Behind 0 2 now. He's got another one. 13 strikeouts now, and the inning is over. Your Sean Poppin is on to pitch from the bullpen now to start inning number seven. And out of the play, Trent Grisham. A couple of singles to his credit thus far. Just got a piece of it as it's fouled back. One delivery. Right side hit hard. And that's through into right. So a leadoff single here to start the seventh. Every game the pitcher gets the lineup card. Season. 0 and 1, here it comes. Lifted the other way down the left field line. Goodwin is right there as he puts it away, no problem for the first down. Next to dig in, Ricky Henderson singled last time up. He's set and the pitch. And this is on the ground is short, could be two. To Frazier at the bag. But they won't get two as he beats the relay to first. Now that right field. So now to the plate, Tony Gwynn. He's got a hit in three at bats to this point. This is on the ground over to first. And he'll step on the bag himself, and the inning is over. 
Trevor Hoffman comes on to pitch from bullpen now in an unexpected move. He's their closer, so it's a surprise to see him here in the seventh. Brian Reynolds is in to start things off as he looks at a ball to start the inning. One and zero, oh. and that's waved at and missed. One and one. Count is one and two now. Hey, last two pitches back to back, off speed. Then he's late on the fastball. He could pretty much do anything he wants right here on the mound. So he gets the swinging strikeout on the changeup. Brian Reynolds is retired for the first out in the bottom half of the seventh inning. Key Brian Hayes is in for the third time now as he takes a called strike. It's 0-1. And a classic 0-2 pitch as the changeup misses low, and it's 1-2 and two now. Popped up. Carter in foul ground, and he makes the catch for the second out. So here is Brian Goodwin. He went down on strikes in his last at bat. Comes set. Here's the nothing and nothing pitch. There's a change up taken, but it finds the zone on the inside. Good cutter there, and he's got him behind the eight ball now, 0 and 2. Down 0 2 to a guy with this much weaponry, five pitches he can go to, not looking good. And another foul ball. No runs, just one hit and one error in the contest for the Pirates so far. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down. Ready to begin the eighth. And next it'll be the fleet-footed first baseman, Joe Carter. Here it comes. Back up the middle. And this is going to be through into center field for a base hit as the leadoff man's aboard in the eighth. Next is Fernando Tatis Jr. And a swing from him yields a foul pop out of play to the right. He's working on a one for three thus far. Set to deliver the 0 and 1. On the ground to the left side. Newman's got it. And he's safe. He's good. You know, Dero, sometimes one of your best friends are your own teammates right there. Good hustle from first base to beat that throw to second. And guess what? He bought his battery made a knock. Yeah, he definitely bought him a knock. Okay. And both runners are safe. The double steal executed perfectly. That's not easy to do. To steal third off a catcher that has an elite arm like this. Great base running there. Shot toward right center. And this ball's going to get down, and it should play to couple. This will kick up against the wall now. And the second run will score as well as they've opened it up to 6 nothing now. And he is in at third with a two-run triple. Michael Feliz enters now in a mop-up role as he'll try to keep the deficit right where it is. I mean, that had to feel good right there, Dan. That's his third RBI of the game and extends his team's lead. They might have this one locked up. And they'll extend their lead even further as the run from third is in to score. And he is in at third base with an RBI triple. Man, they're just piling it on now. That RBI triple makes it a seven-run lead. It's hard enough to come back from a seven-run deficit in football. You can't score any touchdowns in this game. Line towards center field. Base hit, and that'll get a run in. At the plate now, Trent Grisham ripped toward the gap in right. Allen is on his way home. He pulls into third safely as two runs come across to score away from the play. Here's another look at it right here as he drives it right between the two outfielders heading towards the right center field wall. He was flying out of the box, so I think he was thinking triple all the way. By the time they get it back in, he's safely into third. Swinging a ball hit on the ground. And he's getting his first plate appearance here in the eighth after entering off the bench just a little bit ago. Lifted in the air out towards left center. Catch is made deep in the alley, and here comes the runner from third. And he will get in to score, and it's a run batted in on the sacrifice line. So no one on now after the sack fly. And next will be a speed threat in the form of outfielder Ricky Henderson. 
into the windup. Here comes the 0 and 1. Swing hard liner to left center. That gets down and he's got himself a base hit. The throw into second. The tag and he's now trying for two. So now to the plate. Tony Gwynn. Lied hard to center field. Reynolds is there and he puts it away to stop the bleed. Now with the plate is Colin Moran. He was Four retired after popping out in his last at bat. He's ready. Here's the 0-1. Fouled away. Here comes the nothing and two pitch. And a changeup swung on and missed for the first down. First now pitch of the A-B now. Right fielder, Gregory Polongo. And he jumps at a changeup, a swing and a miss. Yeah, I'll be interested to see if he triples up on it right here. He's got back-to-back out-in-front swings on this guy. Let's see if he bounces one right in front of the plate. So he Second got him baseman. swinging. Gregory Adam. Polanco goes down for Gregor. out number two in the bottom half. He's set. Here's the 0-1. Fouled off. Here comes the 0-2 pitch. Hit on the ground to short. He's got it. So the first beats him easily, and the side is retired. All set to start the ninth in this one, and next to bat will be the first baseman, Joe Carter. And this is lined hard to deep left. But this will hang up a bit too long as it's taken in chest high for the first out. So now it'll be the four hole hitter, Fernando Tatis Jr. On the night, he's two for four with a pair of singles. Fly ball out to straightaway right. There to make the play is Polanco, and there are two away now. Next, here is Mike Piazza. His line so far, two for four, but the hits are a home run and a triple. Go on to first, a three pitch inning. So now here is Michael Perez starting things for his side in the ninth as they face the improbable odds of trying to come back in this one. Yeah, not a lot of hope for them at this point. These guys know these bats still count, at least for their own stats. You can't mill in your chances as a professional. The next 0 2. He is swung on and missed. He got him on strikes. O'Neill Cruz steps into the on deck circle now, looking to start something here with one gun in the inning. Just gets a piece of it, strike one. Here's a late swing and a miss, strike two. I can't imagine in a hitter's meeting today, that's the pitch they want to attack. Plus velocity up and in. It's going to be too tough to get the barrel to that pitch today. So it was a strikeout swinging. O'Neill Cruz becomes out number two this inning. Kevin Newman is next as he finds himself behind 0 and 1. And this ball swung on and hit to center field. And this should do it. He makes the catch. And the Padres will add one more to their winning streak as this ball game is over. Wow. Another game and another night to celebrate another victory. I'm just excited we've been able to be here to witness this amazing streak. The There's nothing prettier in the world than good baseball.